Yeah, actually, uh, I posted four Excel program for your download of calculation. So let's take a look uh, of the so three spreadsheets for the uh, settlement calculation and one uh, uh, spreadsheet is for the calculation for your down data load or the pile. Uh, so I will explain the three the settlement calculation spreadsheet first. And this spreadsheet is actually the at the center location, the pile down data load calculation. So the pile is uh, actually we assumed at the center of embankment. So you assumed that uh, how much settlements happen in the middle of that embankment. Okay. Um, so this spreadsheet is uh, uh, required of you, you to put in input uh, different soil uh, types. So it's each soil layer and uh, it's specified the type here. And second column is you need to what the starting depth uh, for the depth each sub layer. And third column then you need to input uh, C sub C or C sub R. Uh, C sub C means a uh, purging compression index, and C sub R is a recompression index. So you should choose either of one, uh, depends on the what the load level under that each the starting depth of a sub layer. And you plug in also the E sub zero, uh, that's the initial void ratio of the soil. And C sub V is a coefficient consolidation, so you from the your lab test, you can uh, plug in the, this value. And uh, maximum C sub C and minimum C sub C is uh, it's just a reference point, so it doesn't influence any your calculation result. Okay, it's just a reference for your reference. And uh, compressor layer uh, thickness, you need to plug in the here uh, for the soft clay and firm clay is actually compressible soil. So you total those two layer uh, thickness is 23 meter, and uh, Drainage boundary condition is that is one is a single and two is a double. So a single is boundary is uh, only top wall, top surface is only your drainage is uh, allowed. You plug in the one, but if you have uh, this type of soil sand that is uh, located top and bottom, it's a sandage condition. You assume that this is a double drainage condition. So in that case, you plug in the two, uh, specify two here. And this section is uh, you. Uh, help you out, uh, evaluate that the, how fast that, that your concentration degrees happen. So after maybe six months or two months, so six months actually you reach the 90% of concentration, your actually drainage pass is a 14 meter. And uh, the thicker, the thickness of the drainage layer, it more lower concentration has happen, right, after six months. Maybe you change it to two months, yeah, it's a much easier lower. Uh, your thickness is actually is cut down. So after two months, actually 90% is only eight meter, and the 20% is 41 meter. Okay. And you can also check that, that this graph is so your so it depends on that the time elapsed each month, uh, how you are actually the specified that uh, 23 meter uh, thick, the the complete soil layers are. Uh, no, it's just pressure dissipated. So U is actually degree of consolidation degree. So reach the 100%, 100% sediments is uh, get, uh, achieved. Um, this diagram is showing the configuration of a new embankment. And uh, so piles are supposedly located on the, at the, uh, in the center of that embankment, new embankment. And uh, you need to specify groundwater depth. It's the depth starting point that you use from the ground, not from the top of uh, embankment. And so gamma, it's supposedly all the soil, the unit weight is assumed at the same number. And uh, so gamma is assumed the average value is 20 kilonewton per meter, at this example. And the embankment actually has a plateau shape and uh, it's a size of slope dimension. So Size of dimension is the extensions. You can just specify the B2. And uh, your half section of your plateau area, the length is uh, you specify B1. So this B1 is defined the half section, not the full length of the embankment. Okay? Now keep in mind. And the uh, fill gamma is this uh, new embankment fill material, what you mean you weight, and uh, what the height of this uh, new embankment. So six meters in the here. 
and the program is automatically assigned and depend on the that depth from the this depth is from the your surface, not from the top of uh, embankment. Okay, so below the uh, surface ground is 0.51, 1.5 1 meter. It's showing that to increase the in situ stress and also it automatically calculate the inference depth factor multiply the depth loading uh, embankment load and actually you additional load how much load is applied on this each depth of the uh, pile location okay and you would yeah, need to also specify your pile length so here is for example 30 meter and the elastic deformation is uh, the H pile you just click to here and the, yeah the reference value is pi per pi is a 0.5 centimeter and the H pi is a one centimeter is for your recommendation so elastic deformation okay um, so this uh, C sub C sub R and the uh, initial void ratio is automatically assigned in your program so you don't worry about this uh, uh, the value changes only you concern with this yellow input part so yellow input part you need to uh, specify so you double check that this uh, soil power soil description is a uh, uh, relevant to this uh, soil table is rightly assigned so you double you need to check that this uh, yeah sand the soft clay the starting point and the pump clay starting point it depends on this uh, your environment depth and next consolidation rate that's a uh, uh, is a yeah, it's an important concept. Uh, the 100% is it does not allow any settlement. Okay, you plug in 100%. Uh, so you, this layer is actually uh, the program doesn't calculate any settlement. Okay, uh, because uh, it's a uh, it reached the 100% consolidation already. But starting point zero. So the, that means that to your uh, settlements that happen from the your zero degree of a consolidation, start to the 100%. If your clay is maybe some over consolidated condition, so previously it's uh, reached some the pre consolidation pressure, then the only 50% of a consolidation degree is actually your starting point. Okay? So, so that uh, in case of maybe over consolidated <coughs> clay or some other specific case, you actually uh, put in the depth plug into this value other than zero. So zero is actually most of the case at the normal consolidate, and uh, maybe also clay or or some pre previously consolidated conditions, and you should specify this uh, degree of consolidations here. So your starting point point of uh, consolidate uh, settlement. Yeah, so sand is a definitely you don't you don't need to account for the sediment the calculation. So that's why you're plugging the one hundred and the bedrock you so. So those over one hundred value is not accounted in your sediment calculation. And uh, your sediment, the next tab is showing the previous section is the slow the calculation and the second tab is showing your sediment, actual how do you calculate the sediment uh, amount for each soil layer. And yeah, you can. This information is already copied from the previous section, so you don't worry about that. You just confirm that this uh, information is matching with the previous uh, tab. Uh, so, yeah, it's so only the here the plug-in value is uh, the neutral plan depth. So you actually this we call we assume that the end bearing pile. So maybe it's just specify the neutral plan at the end of the starting point of the end bearing unit, and. Eventually, you, you could get this uh, where you getting uh, the down jack load, as we mentioned the uh, previous uh, uh, video clip. The zero point, uh, sorry, one centimeter above that actually you uh, relative displacement between the soil and the pile that pro producing the down drag. So this one. Here, right? So 1.1 matching is a 21. So above 21, actually the relative displacement uh, happen. So that whole this uh, power upper section area is uh, under influence of uh, <coughs> uh, the down drag load. Okay. Um, and I added another spreadsheet. This is for the actually, the neutral plan. The, the calculation. So 
from the the bow, uh, the textbook. And then you, you find the dedication, and then you plug in the pile uh, length and uh, what the uh, uh, soil, the unit weight, and plug in, and the overall pressure over your embankment load. Okay, so how much embankment load you apply, and you eventually you getting so this is switching point that uh, negative to positive. This is uh, your actually yeah it's a pile length, so the negative uh, the neutral plane location. Uh, this is for the center location, okay? And then I will show you, uh, this is, uh, the pile is located on the hill side, not the center of uh, the embankment. You need to uh, using different spreadsheet. So that case is you actually, uh, yeah, it's those sectors are the same as before, and then you plug in the soil type, and then the different degree of your starting point of uh, consideration degree. And yeah. You maximum dimension that you actually specify here, and then also it's another tab that you actually calculating. Yeah, this spreadsheet is you actually so type in the this C sub C C sub R value uh, separately. Uh, so OCR depends on OCR. It actually the spreadsheet choose uh, which one the C sub C or C sub R for the you depends on the OCR value and compared to the your initial stress. And void ratio values also you need to plug in. So it's a little some comparison compared to the, the previous uh, the engineering uh, calculation sheet. Um, so you plug in the this C sub V is the coefficient consolidation, and you can also calculate the, what the, how ex fast that excess progress is dissipated, and the, how the half range of length is calculated for depend on the different of consolidation degree. And yeah, so. That's the case is uh, in the, the pile location around the hillside. And uh, another, the last uh, the spreadsheet is of the pile is located outside of the whole embankment. So that separation length is a from the end tip of this slope to the, your pile location, okay? So this configuration is like that. You specify the, the outside the distance from the, your the embankment, the pile. And, uh, yeah, this assumed the more simplified. It generated, it, uh, it assumed the whole the the, uh, the layer that uh, the over consolidated clay or you know, uh, no, normally consolidated clay. You just different specify the this value uh, compression index. And <coughs> excuse me. And uh, for the different months, you actually calculate also have to change the path for the, your reference. Okay, and then last one, the three, those three the based on the settlement calculation, you actually calculate the downdraw rule. So if a driven program is not uh, available to you, you, you need to use this uh, uh, the static analysis uh, or spreadsheet. So you specify the pipe pile and H pile so you specify the depth, the pipe power, the diameter, and the H power is actually you just uh, uh, yeah the conversion of the H power. So the uh, definition is uh, two times French width and uh, uh, multiply width and width and French and uh, divide by the pi. So your conversion value actually. So other the process is exact anyway is basically same. Okay. So only just the pi section uh, is uh, different. Um, you actually. Plug in those uh, soil property depends on the that soil, soil layer, and then if you need to include those uh, pile. But remind you should select those uh, parameter uh, shear strength parameter either P or uh, under shear strength. You choose either one, not to both of them. Okay, so only one value is applied to those uh, pile analysis. And the analysis steps is a default base of 0.5 meters, so every 0.5 meter, and you actually get the side friction. So side friction the, from the, your non cohesive type and cohesive type side friction, you can separately calculate and total side friction. And this is the end bearing unit. You actually getting also end bearing the capacity. So final value is actually add up with a uh, side friction and the end bearing. H pies also. So please read through those uh, before you do the analysis and the read me a section. So how you should apply the uh, right to value for you getting down the low. Okay? And good luck if you can catch them, feel free to guess me.